to also look at this. Are there some benefits to soul ties? Of course there are benefits to soul ties. Can soul ties be taken advantage of? Of course they can be taken advantage of. But first of all, let's look at the benefits of soul ties. You see, when you have a soul tie with your wife, which is exactly what the Bible approves of and what it should actually be, what happens is that you are protected. You become bonded, you become one with the person. I'll give you an example. When people have so tied with their spouses or their partners, a very, very effective soul tie, which all these other soul ties have been attacking these days, because if you look at so many relationships, many, many couples don't have beneficial or productive soul ties. Why? Because their, their, their partners have so many lingering soul ties that have not been dealt with. But let's say, for instance, you have a very productive soul tie that is devoid of any form of distraction from other lingering soul ties. What happens is the same scripture that says one will chase a thousand and two will chase ten thousand will become very true. For you in that relationship it means that you and your wife are two but you are bonded into one the spiritual energy that you generate is supersonic in nature it is beyond description when you have that kind of soul tie with your wife and your wife alone or your husband alone two of you are so powerful together Anything that you desire, whether in prayer or in planning, it will come to pass at the speed of light. When something happens to one of you, the other person gets the message immediately and can begin to intercede for you even without hearing from you what is going on. When the other person is about to get into danger, this person will know immediately. You don't have to be a prophet or a prophetess. This is exactly how it is meant to be because your whole being is living in the woman and, and her entire flavor, the whole thing, the, the, the smell, the scent of her, the scent of a woman, the scent of the woman is all around you. So you see, both of you are carrying each other. And that's why soul tie is such a beautiful thing. And then when you have soul tie with your woman that you're loyal to, or your man that you're loyal to, you know what happened? Sexual intercourse becomes exactly what God made it to be. It is meant to be extremely enjoyable. You are replenishing each other. You are nourishing each other. The woman nourishes you. The, the man replenishes you. This is how God intended for it to be. Not just having sex as if you're sleeping with a prostitute and you just do all that nonsense and you run away. Sex is meant to be a form of worship. In sexual intercourse, there's another program we're going to do where I explain the quadratic equation of sexual intercourse. You will understand that sexual intercourse is all about the intermingling of two spirits. It is a form, a higher form of worship actually. A higher version of worship that we can indulge in. That's not what many people get today. So when you have a proper soul tie, the legal soul tie, with someone you are legally married to, okay? That is when you begin to experience, experience all these benefits. A person you have a soul tie with, a proper soul tie with, can stay on her knees. Then they say, have you heard about the book that says the power of a praying wife or praying husband? That is when you can release prayers and things will happen instantly. 
Because in the sight of God, you are one already. So you cry out to God on your man. He makes things happen. And the man does the same for you. It happens immediately. You can even wish. Uh, let me give you the most important aspect of the benefits of soul tie. Proper soul tie. You can sit down and begin to imagine things you want to happen in the life of the other person. And they will begin to manifest. Because you carry them. And because you are moving with them all the time. That's when so time is beneficial. There are too many benefits to a proper soul tie that I can't even list all of them. So there are benefits to soul tie. Soul tie isn't always bad. It's a very beautiful thing. But then another question is this. Can people take advantage of soul tie? Yes. I hate to say this because it might look like I'm trying to open people up to things they can do to harm other people, but of course, this is reality. We used to hear the stories of how they say a woman, who, if she wants to punish a man who has slept with her, can take a finger and put it inside her womanhood and raise it up and say, if you have gone through this hole here, I command this to happen to you and it will begin to happen to the man. People can actually curse people because the man lives inside of her. The man has not removed his personality that lives in the woman. So the woman actually can get up any day and lay a, 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 some type of hex on you and it will work. A woman that you slept with can also get up and say never in his life will he settle down with any other woman. Or a woman you slept with can also get up and say, you this man, as long as you have gone through this place, you will see, you will never live peacefully with any woman or you will never have any child with any woman. Getting born again for you, the man, does not solve this problem. What solves the problem is going through the actual process of evacuating, removing and retrieving, repatriating your, your spirit or rather your emotional being that is living inside that woman's emotional storage facility. If you don't evacuate that part of you living there, that lady can continue to turn you around. There are many guys that they are not concentrating to do anything today because of the women they have slept with. Those women have made them to be running around circles like this. They can't even see. If they will go here, they will come here. They will go. They, don't, they can't concentrate. They can't focus ever. Chaos everywhere. Because of the kind of woman you've slept with. Why? Because you are living inside her. You can't run, you can travel to America while she's in Nigeria. You can travel to China while she's in Ghana. You can travel to Congo where, where, where she's, where, no matter where you go, you live inside of her. You are running away from your shadows. How can you run from your own shadow? The shadow is running with you. You are running away. Your own being is living inside the woman. This is how evil people can take advantage of soul tie. That's why you have to be extremely careful before you go and dabble into this wickedness. Now, if a woman can take advantage of a soul tie, a living normal woman, just because she is evil, imagine how your spirit wife that you sleep with during masturbation will take advantage of the soul tie in your life as a man. Just imagine for one second what that spirit wife will do because you have deposited your own emotional energy inside the soul, inside the emotional storage facility of a demonic spirit that comes in the form of a female energy during your masturbation, you man. So, let me give you, paint you a very scary picture. Not just to scare you, but to give you the reality of the situation. You know, <clears throat> when the Bible says that two have become one, what it means is that if I'm married to a woman, she and I are one. And that's what this whole soul tie is explaining to us now. So, imagine I have masturbated and I have become one with an evil spirit that I can't see 
evil. It can never be a whole. It's an evil spirit. That's what they call spirit wife. And I'm going to do a different video again about the origin of spirit wife and spirit husband. So if I have a soul tie with a spirit, evil spirit, it means we are already one. And if we are one, anywhere I go, I represent both me and her. Anywhere the evil spirit goes, she represents both me and her. And so when I go to God to ask for anything, God is going to need the consent of both me and my partner because we have become one. And so if I say, I want this, and that evil spirit say, no, we don't need it, you will not get that stuff because another part of you is rejecting that thing that you need. That's why some of you, you want to go to the embassy to go and get a visa and travel to a, and go on a trip that will change your destiny. The night before you get to the embassy, you're going to have masturbation. And that moment, the woman says, no, I don't think we need this visa, even though you know you need it. And then you go to the embassy, the thing is finished. I'm going to deal with all this more when we begin to talk about masturbation. You see what is happening? You are one with her in body. The same thing happens also for the woman. You want to get married. You need the consent of your soul type partner to get married. And your soul type partner said, no, what nonsense marriage? We are already married. What are you? He refuses that you will get married and you won't get married. And you will go and start. You will be dating a man. The moment the guy opens his mouth and says, I want to, before he says, marry you. The marriage, the whole the relationship is scattered. He's going his way, you're going your way. You just can't explain what happened. Because you are in a relationship with an evil spirit. And the evil spirit has refused to allow permission for you to go into another relationship. When people have soul ties with you, they can ruin your life. Because it is legal. They, they, they legally entered into you. They did not impose it. They legally came in. And so they are legally living inside of you for free, rent free, without paying any rent. And then oppressing you at the same time. This is why we have to be extremely, extremely careful. So that's how you can benefit from soul tie and how soul tie can also be a disaster of monumental proportions to you as a person. Oh, I